I was very lucky to be invited by the Shipley Art Gallery to come and give a talk and I was actually a little surprised because um, I thought this is a design festival and I'm not really a, I'm not really a designer so why are they asking me but I, I guess it's because I use what are seen as design tools uh, in my practice and in my research but I do something a little bit different and I think it's I think it was probably that that uh, was the decision for inviting me along. Well that it's not just a case of pressing the button and it all happening automatically. I firmly believe that my practice and the use of these tools is supported by my previous practice handling clay, working with materials, knowing how much, how far you can go. And I think from that, having an inquiring mind, asking, you know, what if, what if I do, what if I put another wheel on that corner, you know, will it go faster, will it go slower? What, what, what can I do with this technology that stimulates my ideas instead of, basically the technology is designed for engineers and aerospace and Formula One, and I don't work in that way. I want to, I want it to do what I want it to do. And it's that inquiring mind that comes from having worked with materials in the past. Um, well, I, as a craft practitioner, I exhibit at um, the Saatchi Gallery every year as part of the Clegg Show. Uh, and one of my pieces that I designed, um, King of the Mountains, Com, um, was exhibited at uh, Clegg in 2010, I believe. And Sim, at the time, came along and saw the work. Uh, and she bought it with some Northern Rock funding, which was fantastic because it was one of the kind of final pieces of the series that I was making about um, famous cyclists and, and it ended up in a public acquisition, which is really important for my work because I, I really value people having uh, access to these pieces rather than them being in private collections. Uh, and then Sim let me know about the Northern Design Festival and she said, would I like to come up and do an engagement talk? Um, and I, I think those sorts of activities are particularly useful because it helps people understand um, what the artist has gone through to, to achieve at this artifact. Yeah. I mean, my real take on um, digital craft has changed mainly by the, because of the project I've done in Dundee, past, present, future craft practice with Dr. Louise Valentine, which is not necessarily seeing craft as a thing that makes objects and the object is craft but actually craft as a knowledge base craft as an in intellectual activity and through the talk tonight i really wanted to try and show people um, that craft isn't necessarily all about the thing you see in the gallery it's actually about this activity this way of understanding life and bringing together all these disparate elements into an understanding which can offer innovation